but let's connect with all of the other meditators who are joining us tonight. Do this just by opening your awareness to the fact that other people are doing the exact same thing with you here right now. And even though you may not know them or know exactly who's joining, see if you can feel the presence of our collective energy body, this group of community meditators. Close the eyes or rest the gaze downward. Almost like putting your antenna up. Good. Feeling this sense of community that's coming together for world peace by way of inner peace. And really feeling this motivation resonate in your heart, in your body. Including your wish to be a healthy human being. And perhaps your wish for the happiness of all beings. your enlightenment for the sake of all, bodhicitta aspiration. Good. So allow this motivation to fuel your meditation tonight. Both the times when you're silent and the times when you're listening have this attitude of um, your purpose. Tonight I want to talk about hospitality. It's something that I mentioned in my video earlier today. And I find it to be one of the greatest skills to apply to my meditation practice. And this isn't something I came up with on my own. It's something that's taught to me by Lama John Mikransky as well as Sony Rinpoche. They talk a lot about hospitality because it's something you already know how to do, a way that you already know how to be. So just think about all of the things that you do when you are preparing for a party or to have loved ones visit you, right? All that preparation. And usually when you are making these plans for your guests, you're thinking about what would they like? What would make them comfortable here in my home or at my party? I use the example, um, I eat mostly a vegan diet and I'm always so touched by the way that my friends and family go out of their way to accommodate this pretty strict diet. In fact, my friend Chandra just a few weeks ago had a few of us over for dinner and she made sure that there was a vegan option for me throughout the entire meal. And she didn't have to do this, but she remembered at one point that I said that this is how I like to eat, it's not a necessity but she found recipes that would accommodate me. She thought about what my needs were, even though I didn't ask. And I'm sure that you've done this before when having guests visit. You think about what will they like, what will make them comfortable. And then when they arrive, you do your best to have an open heart and open attitude so that they feel really welcome in your home, right? So you all know how to do this. You've all done it before. And then think about what it's like when you have a party or you're the host of a party and you greet one guest and you notice another guest comes in. And so you say to the first guest, oh, you know, so nice that you're here, help yourself to a drink or meet this other person. And then you go to greet the new person who has arrived so that everyone feels comfortable, not just the few people who might be your favorites, right? And sometimes it takes a little more effort than others. There might be someone at the party who you don't enjoy quite as much as someone else. But if you're being a good host, then you spend equal time with everyone. We're going to practice this skill during the meditation tonight. We'll be doing handshake practice. Some of you have tried this with me in the past. And some folks have asked me, is this just like you notice a feeling and then you say feeling and let it go, or thought, let it go, kind of acknowledging what's happening. But it's more than that. 
accompanying this acknowledgement or the knowing of the feeling or the thought is this attitude of hospitality. Sometimes I refer to this as holding everything in the space of kindness. So with an open heart, with an attitude of kindness, the choice to be kind, the choice to be accommodating, we're going to greet the feelings that come up and hold everything that arises in this attitude of kindness. And as you're doing this, you might notice that you're more welcoming to some feelings than to others, just like we have a tendency to be more welcoming to some guests than others. So this is where a little bit of effort comes in, effort to be loose and open. When you feel yourself tense up or have preferences, try to relax that. It's sort of a habitual pattern, so it takes some time to get used to recognizing it and then relaxing it. And we greet everything that comes up whether it's a, a positive feeling or a negative feeling. And if we do this in a very welcoming way, then what we realize is that there's almost always a feeling beneath the feeling. There's almost another guest coming in through the door. Greet each guest in a similar way with an attitude of hospitality and open heart. After doing this practice for quite a while now, I've noticed that not only am I more welcoming to my feelings, and then something happens when I do this. Those of you who have tried this before know what I mean. I don't want to spoil it for the others. But I've also noticed the way that this translates into my life. I have a more hospitable attitude towards my life. Imagine that, right? Imagine being able to drop the resistance when situations arise. I think this is what people mean by going with the flow, being able to be in the flow. It's a sense of welcoming, holding everything that arises in a space of kindness. And what, what does accompany this or sort of um, is that foundation for this is faith, which is something that we've talked about in the past. So that you have to have some trust that everything will be okay. That if you welcome a feeling, it does not mean that you will become that feeling forever and ever. You're simply greeting that feeling and waiting to see what other feeling arises. Let's try it. Sitting in a relaxed way. You might be sitting on the floor with legs crossed. If you're in a chair, that's just fine. Make sure that however you're sitting, there's plenty of room in your body for your breath. Palms are resting down on your knees. Elongate the spine, lifting the heart. Slightly tilt your chin towards your chest. Feel the opening this creates in the back of your throat for your breath. Relax the muscles in your face. Eyes are soft, gaze is downward. Just a soft, gentle gaze. cultivating this attitude of hospitality, deciding to hold everything in the space of kindness, notice what feelings are present for you right now. No need to search for a feeling or Identify with one feeling that you think is there. Just sit and wait. Maybe you feel butterflies or tingling in your stomach.
break these feelings with a handshake, welcoming them to your experience. Beneath these feelings of tingling, you might experience a burning in your stomach, a longing. I wish I had done this or that. Just greet this feeling. Holding it in the space of kindness. There might be a warmth in your heart, a feeling of connection to these practices or the other meditators. Welcome this feeling. Maybe you're noticing something in the physical body, like an ache, some chronic pain. With an open heart, go right up to this feeling and shake hands with it. and wait to see what other feelings arise. Good. Now lift the gaze <clears throat> and take a break. If you need to stretch out the body, wiggle out the legs. By this point, usually people have some questions about <clears throat> how to interact with these feelings. <clears throat> Pardon me. So I want to talk about the difference between thinking and knowing. The mind has been developing for billions of years to become this complex organism that can know things and can also think. So we call knowing something that <clears throat> you just know, like you just know that I'm a woman. You just know that this is a sofa. You just know that this is a bell. You just know that this is a dog, right? Thinking would be diving into what you know and coming up with a story or following a story around something that you know. So while you're sitting here, it's okay to know the feeling that arises as tingling or anxiety or nervousness. If you catch yourself getting wrapped up into the story or analyzing the feeling, then this is thinking. And when you notice this, it's just like when you're at a party and you notice that you've become engrossed in a conversation with one guest and you've been neglecting all of the other guests who are there. You politely say goodbye to the feeling or the person that you've been engaged with and look to see who else is there, what other feelings are there. It doesn't mean that the person leaves the party. They may stay at the party, but you're no longer interacting with them in the same way you're open to what other feelings might be there. 
another thing that may arise is that you might kind of get into the sensation of the feeling. And we don't go looking for this, but if it happens, um, I say this is like if George Clooney showed up in one of my meditation classes, right? I would do everything I could not to make him uncomfortable or want to leave. So I would do my best not to stare at him or do anything that would freak him out. And I would hope that everyone else at the meditation class would do the same thing, make him feel welcome. So if you have this feeling that you are kind of interested in, then it's okay to rest in that feeling, rest in the marrow of it, without doing anything to freak it out or make it leave, okay? So you can think of, it, what would you do if George Clooney showed up? Your reaction would be to respond to it, or respond to him, but this might freak him out, make him uncomfortable. So we don't wanna do that. We just wanna be with the feeling in a really calm way, not doing anything to scare away the feeling. So let's try it for another minute or two. And the reason why I'm breaking up the practice into short sessions is to show you that this is something that you can do for five minutes when you have a five minute break. And you'll notice the effects of just those five minutes. It's palpable, right? Like you probably feel different than when you first sat down. And imagine if you could find a few five minute breaks throughout your day and bring this feeling with you into your work or into the way that you answer the phone for your clients, okay? So palms resting down on your knees. Eyes are soft, gaze is downward. Moving from the thinking mind into the feeling body. Greeting each feeling with a handshake, an open heart, and an attitude of hospitality. Noticing the other feelings that arise. Greeting them in a similar way. Open heart, hospitality. See if you can release any gripping or holding on in the stomach or shoulders. Making space for your feelings. Greeting uncomfortable feelings in the same way you greet the pleasant feelings.
you notice that you have become enmeshed in a feeling. Open your awareness to any other feelings that might be present. And greet those feelings with a handshake. In the same way, you would politely break away from a conversation. Good. Taking a break, lifting the gaze, and noticing this feeling that you have right now. This sweet spot of in between. Feeling a connection with the other meditators who are with you right now. Feeling an energetic connection with me. Maybe you feel one with Johnny. And now connecting with your motivation for being here tonight, to be a healthy human being, world peace by way of inner peace, or the bodhicitta aspiration, the well-being of all. Feel this motivation in your body. And now let's dedicate the merit that we've generated. As I sound the bell, it's just like making a wish. Dedicate this merit to all beings. You can close your eyes for this part. Thank you all for being here. I look forward to seeing you again next week for community meditation. It's live streamed every Wednesday from 6 until 6.30. It's free, everyone is welcome. You can watch through my website, samadhiforpeace.com or through the YouTube channel, Community Meditation. We also have a Facebook group. We really encourage you all to interact with each other, to get to know each other, to share your experiences in the meditation. Feel free to ask me questions there. I get a lot of emails to my personal account, which I love reading. I love hearing from all of you. But if you have a question, someone else who is joining us probably has a similar question. So feel free to post this in the Facebook group. That's why it's there. Thank you.